Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 21st of June comes to you from London and we start by looking at the dollar index. We see here how the dollar is rising in the short term, uh, really having activated this upside target about 99.50 which is 1.8% upside. We are just seeing now the dollar is climbing. Looks like it's just turning off a bottom here. Still bearish in the medium term but the long term chart we are finding some support here on the cloud and that is suggesting that dollar will have a, a, a better run. Uh, looking at the euro, we see here that uh, the euro has activated this downside target of 109, which is 2% uh, downside against the dollar, and we are just seeing uh, new lows here and a downtrend, so quite key. And most of all, we're hitting long-term resistance on the cloud, the lagging line just turning right on the, um, the cloud there. Looking at the Japanese yen, uh, just weakening a little bit slightly at the moment, the dollar, but uh, the but the dollar has been stronger against the yen, so we're seeing um, that improvement, and we've got an upside target and a trend change at 4.5 percent. So one of the, another clear sign that the dollar looks like it's at a turning point and may well strengthen. Sterling fell heavily yesterday on. Um, the mansion house comments and we are just seeing now a downside target of 123 um, that was given uh, a couple of weeks ago now is activated and moving to the downside hit strong resistance we'll get another downside target off this uh, thrust so we are just seeing now sterling hitting long-term resistance on the cloud um, looks like it's going for another period of deterioration Against the euro, we see that showing through as well, sterling weakening there, and the Swiss franc uh, downside targets of around two to three percent there to play for on this uh, on the short term chart, and against the Australian dollar just up slightly, meaning the Australian dollar is um, is weakening more than sterling. Uh, looking at uh, the S&P 500 index, we see here that uh, we did pull back a bit yesterday, but still looking strong on all three charts. About 4% upside in the short term, that's where we're um, looking towards. But the really big one at the moment is the NASDAQ. NASDAQ hitting really resistance yesterday, down about 1% again yesterday, just falling away on this resistance level. So we really do have this channel building at about 5,780 and uh, 5,630. And that is the range there, about 150 point range that we're trading in. We need to watch for the break. Um, out of that range hopefully to the upside. Taking a look at the Dow, we see the Dow is pretty bullish on all uh, three time frames and the Russell, the broader index, 2000 US stocks, still looking bullish although it deteriorated a little bit yesterday. Uh, the future is, the S&P future is down a bit this morning, um, down um, <clears throat> just 0.2% um, so we are just seeing a little bit of a deterioration there and much the same in the Nasdaq E-mini just down slightly. So we may see the market open a little bit lower. Uh, the FTSE 100 is down three quarters of a cent uh, yesterday so uh, we'll see um, that deterioration there showing up in the short term chart taking us just into bearish territory quite mixed short term but the bullish uh, picture still remains on the long and medium term charts and the same for the 250 we're seeing um, the uh, UK mid caps still looking pretty good having had a very strong run this year just for pausing for breath the last several weeks the DAX was looking very strong yesterday it has come off quite strongly um, but still looking uh, pretty good on all three time frames. The Nikkei down half a percent but bullish on all three charts. The Hang Seng has just turned a little bit bearish on the uh, short term and the local Shanghai index holding its bullishness short term but medium and long term picture is still a bit mixed. The Sensex, uh, the Indian market just going sideways on the short term charts so we're seeing that just showing up here several weeks of sideways moves but the, the picture is still very bullish long term. And the um, uh, the Australian market falling away quite strongly there. So in the short term, quite bullish. And the medium term chart just looking a little bit bearish there as well. Brent crude continuing to fall. We're just uh, sitting at this sideways move. Now quite clearly below the low that we saw in May. This Remember, lower lows are bad. Um, we do have downside targets as low as 44 here in the short term and 36.27 in the medium term. So looks like crude oil will have a, a bad second half of the year, which is what normally happens. 
Crude, uh, WTI, much the same picture, of course. Downside tailwinds, 41.61, 42.66. US Nat gas, uh, falling away quite strongly um, as well, but the last couple of days have been sideways, waiting for gas numbers tomorrow. And um, we see here, just sitting below that $2.90 uh, level. Going straight to look at gold, gold very slightly up this morning, but really struggling um, short term. We see here... Um, we are just finding some support on the cloud. Hopefully these medium and long term transitions will remain intact. Silver, not so good either. The medium term chart, less good than gold. And the long term picture just deteriorating a bit there as well. US Treasury yield sitting at 2.16%. But most of all, we, we look to uh, Apple. This is the key. If Apple goes below this 142 level, then we could see a sell off in the market. This is a bellwether to watch. Um, Google uh, looking a little bit better, just coming through the cloud, but again, like the NASDAQ itself, just struggling to break that 960 level to a new high. Amazon looking a little bit better than the other charts, and Facebook also looking a little bit better as well, uh, just coming through the cloud here on short-term uh, support. Still lots of upside targets on Facebook, so it still looks pretty good. And Microsoft um, just struggling a bit short-term to get through the cloud, but uh, again, upside targets on the long and medium term charts. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.